Fresh, feminine, and handcrafted. The Budapest shoemaking scene is creating new trends, but it's also honoring its own traditions. Dozens of shoe designers are shaping the city's stylish new image, thanks to a winning combination of traditional handiwork and modern design. And in recent years, they've been seeing a surge in sales. I think we are, in, we are on our good way to change the mind of Hungarian customers. So sometimes they, they choose us. So we have, uh, we have boutiques and shops here selling Hungarian brands. We have a hype around Hungarian brands, so it, I think it's going to change. Reka Vago creates elegant women's shoes geared towards the latest ready-to-wear collections. As a former dancer, she aims to make shoes that are both striking and comfortable. That's especially important for her high-heeled creations, which can be up to 10 centimeters tall. Her designs are displayed in showrooms alongside styles by other fashion designers. Her creations cost up to 350 euros, and they're made in Hungary. Reka Vago studied shoe design in London, but decided to return to Budapest after graduation. It's comfortable, it's easier, and it's, it's faster. Also, I don't have to mention that I have good people here, so I don't have to look for other person to, to produce it, my shoes. Laszlo Vash also produces high-quality shoes, but his styles are for men. He founded a shop in 1978. Instead of following the latest trends, he puts more emphasis on traditional shoemaking techniques. He caters to a high-profile business clientele from around the world, who pay between 400 and 1,500 euros per pair. It takes four weeks for Laszlo Vash to finish a pair of shoes. His designs are made from fine materials like high-quality calf leather. This popular variety is durable enough to withstand more than a decade of wear. His workshop produces 2,500 pairs of shoes a year, and 800 of those are sold abroad. We work with a shoemaking technique that is hundreds of years old, though our models are brand new designs. Shoes from Budapest are experiencing an international renaissance due to work like ours. More and more shoemakers are following our lead. These traditional shoemaking techniques were developed in Budapest about 350 years ago. The city's shoe trade reached the height of its popularity in the 1920s. Budapest became synonymous worldwide with a style of shoe that featured a punched hole design. The model was said to have originated in Scotland, where people working in moors would punch holes in the toes of their shoes to allow water to flow out of them easily. 100 years ago, the shoemaking trade was flourishing on Veseleni Street. But the tradition vanished during the Cold War. 26-year-old Anna Zabueva moved here from Russia last year. She employs local shoemakers in her shop, Siberia. We show them how to put it in modern way, so that here is the combination of uh, modern design and uh, very uh, eye-catchy style, but it's still handcrafted and uh, classy shoes. With her flashy choice of colors, Anna Zabueva's designs attract a young clientele. Her models for women and men can be made to order in various sizes, leathers and models at a maximum price of 150 euros. Some of her styles are one of a kind, since they're made from recycled materials. For instance, like this bird shoes, it's a, it was a table cover and uh, it's a 40 years old piece of cloth and it's a silk screen with more than seven colors, which is pretty good effort and big work of uh, designers and <clears throat> all the production and somebody throw it away. So we preserve it in a such a beautiful way. It's uh, shoes which I really love. I mean, <laughs> somehow it's very hard for me to sell it even. The Hungarian capital features a range of different shoe designs, but all shoemakers here have one thing in common, a passion for quality and handcrafted traditions.